What's up, bro? Today's beer comes from All American Brewers in Anaheim, California. This is a Smash IPA. In case you guys aren't aware of what Smash IPA is, this is a single malt, single hop brew. And that means it's gonna be brewed 100% with a new hop brand called Sabro Hops. And this is the first time we've had a chance to try one of these, on, and we're super excited. Yeah, we're really excited to try this, so let's crack it open and give it a try, guys. Sabro from All American Brew Works is a smash style IPA made with 100% Sabro hops, which exhibits an intoxicating and complex blend of fruity and citrus flavors and comes in at 6.5% ABV. Cheers! Guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. So, definitely, hmm, I'm enjoying this. It's really smooth. Mm. You definitely can taste the hops based on what we've read on Whoa. the flavor notes for this, you definitely get those. Get, get Whoa, those, right? that. That's really flavorful, different flavors mm -hmm. that I don't really get in beer ever. It's like really, it's, you definitely taste the fruitiness they talk about. Yeah, there's pineiness there. Yeah. Whoa, that's. And, a, and the smell is really, it smells really yeah. good. Yeah. So, Candace, as she was telling us before, she's tried this. Whoa. She was telling us that's like, a trip. yeah. Well, remember, Candace said she tastes it more like a strawberry kind of flavor to this, or, or a smell to, sorry, not flavor. Excuse me on that one, but. I don't know about strawberry smell. I, I don't get either. This is what she told us before, but the smell's interesting. This is this is one of the most unique good. IPAs I've had. Different. It's it's super smooth. You don't get the hot. You don't get a real like the bitter bitter, bitterness yeah. at all. And it's just it it's super smooth. It's really good. It's it's definitely enjoyable drinkable beer. Like I'm highly enjoying this. Yeah, I mean it's hard for me because it's good, but it's not what I would think about with your typical beer IPA. Like, yeah, at all. It's so flavorful and so different. There's a lot going on. That's kind of like, it might be kind of like a tropical IPA, but like way smoother. Yeah, but there's like, I get more of like the earthy piney-ness to there, you know? A little bit. That's what I yeah. pick up on it. I don't know, man. I don't get tropical, really. Well, no, I, we don't get tropical. But I mean, you must have the fruity flavor notes that are in this, which I, I definitely get Whoa. that in there. And I get where you get the pine a little bit, but it's not like, Normally some of the other IPAs we have, you get the pineiness in it, you're gonna get that bitterness, and I'm not even getting that with this at all. It, it's a super smooth, it's really clean, and it has, yeah. I don't know, it's... It's interesting yeah. because when I was expecting from this beer when we poured it, was more of a, a clear, like a yellow, but this has more of an amber, amber to flavor, it, yeah. amber which makes it flavor. way different than I was expecting, but this is by far one of the most interesting IPAs I think we've had, especially being a, a single malt, single hop IPA, which I think personally makes it super interesting to drink. Yeah. Like, is it my favorite IPA? But it shouldn't be because this is something totally different that I'm not expecting, but it's still really good. Yeah, and I would agree with you. Like I said, it's, it's really different. What I did not get what I was thinking we were getting flavor wise was yeah. not what we got. Yeah. And, but it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good reversal of what we were thinking. So yeah, I'm happy but with you're, it. you're getting the yeah. full flavor of those Sabro hops, which are super unique. Mm -hmm. That is probably one of the most interesting beers I've had that's actually good in a way. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I've had interesting beers where I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to drink that. This is like, it changes to me the whole game of IPAs, you know? It's a good, and it's a good change. Like, this is one- When you think of IPAs, you don't yeah. think this, but this, this is This is one still... that we put, like I can see Tim drinking. They're like, you know what I mean, that bitterness? I think Ryan would even enjoy this one. Because mm -hmm. it's a, it's not it's not really bitter yeah, at people all. People don't know who those people are. Oh, sorry. So in case you watch some of our other videos, we've had Tim with us before, and we had our buddy Ryan. They've been guests on the show with us. So what, what is it about those flavors for them that would, well, why would those guys like it? Okay, for them they don't like bitterness ah. for an IPA. Where with this you're not getting. Like I said I understand the piney part, piney flavoring you're getting, but it's yeah. not overbearing. It's not bitter, which is what Tim's biggest complaint is always that they're too bitter for an IPA. Yes, and this is not. This is very flavorful. It's really interesting. I think you should go try this yeah. right away because it's super unique and different. That's my take on yeah. it. Um, I could have one and a half, I would go one and a half pints easy. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I, two, having two would be a little rough just because it's so flavorful and hard with that. But um, overall, I do enjoy this for the complexness of mm. what's going on here. I'm gonna give this a 4.2 for me. Okay, so for me, I probably could drink three pints of this. Really? Yeah, I think we were there. Like, I could probably have three. If we were there for a couple hours, I'd probably do three pints of this. All right, that's great. And then 
I'm one and a half two pints. Yeah. Okay. So you have that. I'm gonna go three. So I can drink a little more than you. But also, I know sometimes I like sometimes a little bit more. One of the sweetness in it, but yeah. it's it's there. But it's we're gonna go untapped rating wise. I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a three nine. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna go with this one. So a little bit lower than me. Yeah, a little bit. Like I right. said, I enjoy it. Like so I said, you can drink more of it. I can, it's a lower I can, rating. I can, yeah, just because again, I can drink more of it, and again, it, but it's not. I like the flavoring. It's good. Just I don't know. Like I said, I can drink a lot of it, but it's not hitting the numbers where I want for yeah, an IPA. Yeah, but that's yeah. When that's I think right. of IPA, but like. I don't know if that's what it was supposed to be like because of these unique hops. You could, know? And, it, and it could be. And it just personal, like I said, personally wise, yeah. again, I could drink a lot. It's good. Again, it's smooth. It's easy to drink. Yeah. It is enjoyable. Um, again, it's not always like if I'm looking for an IPA. And again, I know it's not a you know it's not a regular standard IPA anything yeah. like that. It's it is a smash IPA, so I know it's going to be different. And respecting again, it's our first one. Yeah. And I could drink a bit. It's just when I think IPAs in general is not the one I'm thinking. Like, yeah. What I, yeah. What I want for IPA. But again, it's still good. That's where I go with the three point nine. All right, fair enough. Well, let us know what you guys think. Go down to All American Brewers in Anaheim and give them a try. Cheers. IPA. And in case you are. Are not uh, oh, oh my, my god. Today's been horrible. I'm not